So we helped more than 1,200 working parents in the last one year to connect with their child's school for more than 4,38,000 times. So what that means basically is that uh, every parent was able to access their child's school at least once every day, including off days. Now connection here basically means either a piece of information that was shared by the school and consumed by the parent or an interaction between the parent and the school. Okay, so let me explain you why we feel these stats are really exciting. So for this, I'll have to take you back to your school days and let's try to recollect the important modes of communication that existed then. So if we see, I've, I've tried to collect three most important examples here and I'm sure you would be able to recollect to these examples. So the first one is circulars. So when we talk about circulars, the way information was shared with parents uh, was on pieces of paper called circulars. All the ongoing activities, tasks like homework, etc., was shared on uh, school diaries. Parent-teacher meetings were the only days when a parent could connect to the school and discuss his or her child's progress. Now, coming back to the present and seeing how these ways of communication have changed. So, if we see the information is still being shared on pieces of paper called circulars. If you talk about uh, school diaries, so these are again the most prominent ways today by which all day-to-day -day tasks, ongoing activities have been shared. Parent-teacher meetings still remain to be the most prominent ways as to how parents can connect to teachers and then discuss their child's progress. So as far as the change is concerned, we don't see much changing here. But there is one thing that has significantly changed, which is the demand for a parent's attention. So I am a future parent. A lot of you in the audience are future parents and even existing ones. So let's try to see how a normal day looks like, starting from the point when we wake up in the morning to the point when we sleep. We do a lot of activities throughout the day and we are engaged with all of these activities. Now, even if we try to separate the activities which are connected to our work or our education, there are a lot of other activities that keep us engaged. Now, this could be engaging on social media. Uh, this could be uh, having a chat session on your mobile phone. This could be playing with your gadgets and so on and so forth. So there, there are actually a lot of things that, that are keeping the parent busy today. And hence, though these ways of communication that I just mentioned still exist and still deliver, a lot of them have become inefficient and the communication gap using these ways have increased significantly. Now let me take you through a few scenarios or in fact real scenarios that I went across in recent times. So I went to a school and I was waiting for my meeting with the school principal and I was waiting uh, in a separate room. I found a teacher sitting with a parent and there were three, four more parents lined up and they were waiting for their turn. Now I tried to listen to the conversation they were happening and I realized that it was basically a mini parent-teacher meeting that was happening. Now. All these parents actually missed their dates and hence they were called separately for this meeting. I tried to listen to them for some more time and then I realized something interesting. The teacher was continuously telling the parent that all these dates are actually mentioned in your school diary, but still you missed it. And the parent was continuously replying that I never received them. So I don't know who is at fault here, but there is something of a concern when we talk about parent-teacher communication. Now, I would like, you to, uh, like to take you through another similar scenario. And uh, this is of a school with which we are working since the past three years now. And we are helping this school manage their day-to-day -day operations with our technology pla platform. And we are helping this uh, school manage the day-to-day -day operations more efficiently so that teachers can focus more on the academic side rather than spending time and energy on the administrative side. We are also helping them improve the parent-teacher communication aspect by using the same platform so that they can involve and inform parents better. Now, uh, I would like to take you through a glimpse of how this platform works because this is a very comprehensive platform I, and I cannot take you through the complete platform, but I have just arranged or assembled some screenshots which I'll be taking you through. So this is basically how it works. I've taken an example of a circular, a very common thing that a teacher shares with a parent. So at the time of sharing, the first step is the teacher puts in the data, puts in the text, collects all the attachments. Now the teacher selects the users with whom he or she wants to share the circular. 
And this is one of the key things that I wanted to talk. So there are three key learnings actually that we had during this complete process of implementing a good communication platform in the school. So this is the first, uh, first, first learning that we had. And we feel that all the three learnings has to be a part of the normal communication process wherever pa parent-teacher communication is happening. So this is the first part, which is notifications. Now a teacher selects whether to send a notification with a circular or not. And this notification actually reaches either the mobile phone or the email address of the parent. Now let me take an example of the school diary here. So if I am a parent, I have to check the school diary every day. And I don't have any idea whether there is something inside it for me, but still I have to check it. So basically what notifications do it, they, they go to the parent, reach their mobile phones or the email addresses and tell the parent that there is some piece of information that is already there for you to be consumed. Once the parent follows this piece of information, he's taken to a separate page where he can consume this information. Now this is the second learning that we had. A lot of schools, what they do is they have this platform wherein they ask parents to come and then they ask these parents to search a lot of things like searching the class, searching the subject, searching the date, searching the day and all that stuff. Now doing this over and over becomes a really painful process for the parent. Now what we learned here was to give a simple platform which was a clutter free experience for the parent and all the, it was a single page which had all the details about the child itself. The third thing is tracking. So uh, this is what completes the flow of communication when we talk about parent-teacher communication. And th this is an I extremely important tool for the teachers. Now the teachers or the school without this aspect cannot get to know whether whatever mode they're using for the communication is actually working or not. So if they want to know whether the information has been actually consumed by the parent, tracking plays a very important role. And hence, it, it has been one of the most successful features that we have shipped. So there are a lot of studies that have been done on parental involvement till date, and there is a lot of text available online. So I don't want to pull out the same text and put it here and uh, try to just show, show the same te text, but instead I want to prove the point by taking a more realistic example here. And this is an example which all of us have actually gone through. So let's go to our childhood days again, and let's try to recollect all the events and activities where we were backed by our parents. So I'll give you a few examples which will uh, actually help you recollect. So going to a picnic spot with your family or playing a match of cricket or any other sport with your father or imitating someone or just presenting something in front of your parents. So there are a lot of similar activities that you would think of uh, after hearing these examples. So these are examples that I have gone through personally. Now the interesting thing here is to actually see that how, in, how energetic, how enthusiastic, and how participative you are at this point. And that is where the real magic starts happening because you are actually learning something as a kid after going through all these experiences without knowing about it. So I think this small aspect of parental involvement, if done well, can significantly impact the growth of a child. And I personally feel that with internet growing as a phenomenon today, I mean, it's a great time for ed people in education or to, to actually use technology and, and improve the existing educational initiatives to add a new dimension to education and make them more relevant and efficient. So I, b just before I conclude, I got this story or in fact a message from one of the parents and hence I couldn't stop myself to read it. So I'll try to read it if, if it's possible. So you can just listen, I'm just reading uh, this message, you can just listen and feel it basically. My daughter is studying in grade two now and I would like to share an incident which happened when she was in KG. There was a contest happening in school called community helpers and students had to select one community helper and speak on it. I received the SMS from the school one day before the event and me and my hubs husband started preparing her for it. We suggested options like doctor, engineer, etc. But since I am myself into research, she wanted to become a scientist. I was not so satisfied and hence thought on it in more detail. Suddenly I shouted, housemaid. My daughter cried, no mom, I will not act as a housemaid. I will not act like sweeping floors and washing clothes. 
and so at this point we didn't force her advise her to do whatever she likes in the night during story time i told her about my housemate and her contributions in our life about her tough life and hard work now in the morning while she was getting ready for the school she shouted mom i will act as a housemate but please help me prepare those six lines we prepared last night the lines were like this hello friends i am a housemate you might have seen me sweeping floors washing clothes and doing other household activities but remember no woman can be a doctor scientist engineer or any other successful person without my help this is me who takes care of their kids and home so respect me and my profession on that day she realized that no profession is big or small and we should respect everyone irrespective of his or her profession she won the first prize I would like to thank her teachers for giving importance to moral values and school pad for sending us the information in time. So you could just run this story in your mind and try to recollect of how this small 160 character SMS SMS which was sent in time created a movement which not only involved the parents but engaged them to such a level that it created a complete learning experience for the child. And the child at such a tender age was able to understand such an important message which was given through this story so that's why parental involvement is so powerful and that is something we are trying to fix with school pads